Hi, hello there. Welcome to multi-layer switch inter-VLAN routing. Multi-layer switch inter-VLAN routing. Okay, so let's have a demonstration of a multi-layer switch inter-VLAN routing. Okay, so before that, let me give you some overview about the multi-layer switch inter-VLAN routing. So multi-layer switches can perform layer 2 and layer 3 functions. Okay. So replacing the need for a dedicated router. So if you have seen the video demo on the ROAS, okay, or on the legacy inter-VLAN, so we use there a router. Okay. Now in a multi-layer switch inter-VLAN routing, there is no need for the use of the router. So we will be using a multi-layer switch or a layer 3 switch on our topology here. Okay, so on this video demo, I'm using 3560 24 port switch. Okay, so same thing. We'll have here two VLANs to be created, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So VLAN 10 using 172.16.10.0 slash 24 and VLAN 20 172.16.20.0 slash 24. Okay, so port FA1 to 5 will be assigned to VLAN 10 and port 6 to 10 would be assigned to VLAN 20. Okay, so for our IP addresses, okay, so we will be using that one and that or 20.1 on PC1 and PC3. And then for PC2, so we are going to assign here 172.16.10.2. Slash 24. All right. And okay, so for PC4, we are going to assign 172.16.20.2 slash 24. Okay, so multi layer switches support dynamic routing and inter VLAN routing. Okay, so the multi layer switch must have an IP routing enabled. A switch virtual interface or SVI exists for VLAN 1 by default. So on a multi-layer switch, a logical layer 3 interface can be configured for any VLAN. So the switch understands network layer PDUs, therefore, can route between each SVIs, just as a router routes between each interfaces. So with a multi-layer switch, traffic is routed internal to the switch device, and then this routing process is suitable and scalable solution. Okay, so let's have the topology here. So let's create our topology. Okay, so let me connect PC1. So, all right, so connecting PC1 to our multi-layer switch, that's 3560. I can use any port one to five, all right? So same thing with PC2 here. Let me use port two, okay? And then for PC3, let me use port six, okay? And PC4, let me use port seven. All right, so let us assign an IP address here. Okay. So let's assign an IP address for PC1. So for PC1, this would be 172.16.10.1. Okay. So this is last 24 to 55. Our default gateway would be 172.16.10.254. So let's move on to PC2. So for PC2, 172.16.10.2, right? So slash 24, default gateway is 172.16.10.254. PC3. So for PC3, this would be 172.16.20.1. All right, so 255, default gateway is 172.16.20.254. Okay, last PC4. 
172.16.20.2 subnet mask is slash 24 okay and default gateway is 172.16.20.254 all right so first let's create the vlans okay so in this example we've got vlan 10 and vlan 20 okay so let's do that so let's go to the switch okay so enable configure terminal okay so let's start with the host name what's that host name say this is d1 all right so the first step would be create the vlans so let's do that vlan 10 okay let's name it student and vlan 20 name faculty all right so do show vlan so we have that okay so the next thing is we need to create the svi vlan interfaces the ip addresses configured will serve as the default gateway for hosts in the respective vlan okay so let's do that for vlan 10 first so that, that would be interface vlan 10 okay so you could have the description okay if you want to something like okay let's have description here description default gateway svi for 172.16.10.0 slash 24 okay so let's have an ip address so ip address 172.16.10.254 okay 255.255.255.0 okay and then no shutdown all right next we also need to create for vlan 20 so let's do that interface vlan 20 okay so you could put some description also let's have description okay so this is the default gateway for 172.16.20.0 slash 24 all right so let's assign an ip address this will serve as the default gateway for the hosts on vlan 20. so that would be ip address 172.16.20.254.255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown okay so next would be we need to configure access ports, assign the appropriate port to the required VLAN. Okay. So for VLAN 10, you've got port 1 to 5. Okay. And then for VLAN 20, you've got port 6 to 10. Okay. So let's do it. Interface. Range. Every 0 slash one to five what's that wrong spelling so interface range fa zero is last one to five okay switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10. all right next so interface range fa zero slash six to ten switch port mode access switch port access vlan 20. 
All right, so it made line protocol on interface VLAN 20 change state to up. Okay, so that's on the layer 3 switch. Next would be, we need to enable IP routing. Okay, so issue the IP routing global configuration command to allow traffic to be exchanged between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So this command must be configured to enable inter-VLAN routing on a layer 3 switch for IPv4. So that is simple as, okay, so let's get to this. Configure terminal. You could type in here IP routing. All right. Next would be, let's test the connectivity. So from a host, we could verify connectivity to a host in another VLAN. So using the ping command. So it is a good idea to first verify the current host IP configuration using ipconfig. Let's check this one. Okay, so let's check it the traditional way of doing it. Command prompt. ipconfig. Okay. So ping. Let's check the connectivity with 172.16.20.1. All right. So what seems to be the problem with this? Late update. All right. So you've got, let's do it again. Okay. Same thing with 20.2. So that's an inter -VLAN connectivity. Okay. So from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20. Okay. So let's do it. All right. So let's fast forward time. Okay, so and let's use this ping PC2 to PC3 is successful. PC2 to PC4 is successful. Okay, also you could do the ping here. Let's do it. Ping 172.16.10.1. Okay, so this is going to PC1. Okay, from VLAN 20 PC3. And same thing with. PC2. So we have connectivity. All right. And then let's check PC4 to PC1. It's successful. And then PC1 to PC4. All right. So we have shown the inter VLAN okay, connectivity using a layer 3 switch.